Hello, this is the Trade Site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Tuesday, the 5th of May, 2015. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. Here's a look at the uh, ES front month futures contract once again banging exactly against that green static trend line on the daily chart. You'll notice that we cannot get a close above that. And that's not the high from back in uh, February exactly. It's not the high from last week. It's a very specific number. And uh, that's obviously what the market has found resistance at. So it was actually a very dull session. Every time we seem to get up here near these highs, the market just really gets on exciting. We'll look at that in a little more detail in a moment. So for the day, the S&P gained six. But as you'll see, when we look at the intraday, it was a gap up and pretty much closed right where we opened. Here's the NDX, NASDAQ side gained three. SOX was down one. Biotechs were up 15 points. Google lost, I'm sorry, Google gained about a point and a half. Apple lost about 25 cents. The fix was up 15 cents to 12.85. Apologize for my alert going off right there. And uh, crude oil closed down three cents. No big, no big deal at 58.93. Gold was up 13, though. And here's a look at the 10 day trend. Trend closed at 0.84, so the 10 day moving average is 0.93. Remember, when the 10 day moving average gets to 0.85 or less, that's a real negative sign for the market. That's a bad reading for, for the bulls and the upward uh, chances for the market. So we're watching that because it's getting close to that number again. Here's a look at the uh, NASDAQ volume uh, 1.5 billion shares. It was really, really, really slow. Let's take a look at the intraday action in five minute time frame just so you can see what exactly we were dealing with. And this is just, I mean, this was a joke. Gap up about four points on the uh, ES, actually more like six. Uh, traded a little higher for about 30 minutes. And that was it. That was the entire range for the day. Things only got flatter from there. You know you have a bad day when you look at that VWAP, which is that purple line on the screen. Look how flat that was. And we basically just stuck to the opening level in the VWAP area. So there's nothing really to say about Monday. It was uh, with a couple opportunities and a good futures trade or two. But overall, there wasn't enough going on in the market to get excited about. We did have a volume warning, and we ended up with bad volume in general. All right, let's take a look at the uh, – Economic data, just so you know, for tomorrow, trade balance an hour before the bell, that can move the market and be a big number. And then ISM services 30 minutes in also is pretty important, and that's all we got. So we'll be looking at both of those for create some kind of excitement, maybe a gap and go from there. We'll be in the lab helping you make money as usual. Charts brought to you, as I said, by eSignal. If you do like these videos, please like us on YouTube. It does help us out. Have a great trading week.